We are sitting in the atrium. This space connects the old and the new. And so I decided it would be the most beautiful thing to totally honor this space and paint in this room. You have full floor to ceiling glass. Um, you have the pond visual. So I was able to set up a nice table in front of the pond, have the dogs under my feet and to paint. So what this room does, it gave me that comfortability to a very cozy place to make the art. John Ross Palmer is known uh, for doing an international series every year. And since 2010, uh, a special group of collectors known as the First Class Club has helped to underwrite that experience. And this year, when we are unable to travel, we decided that's no reason not to still do an international series. So we put our heads together and worked really hard uh, to deliver uh, Pangea 2020 to the First Class Club. We have been talking a lot about how we're going to pull this off. So Ryan and I are driving a couple hours to the beach and we just started brainstorming. Don't even judge an idea, just write it down, you might come up with another idea. Um, it was uh, briefly com contemplated to not do it. Everybody would certainly understand under the circumstances. It didn't feel right to not complete the series. We thought that we could do sort of a series where each of the prior destinations is highlighted in each of the paintings. So there would be one for Berlin, one for Dublin, one for Jerusalem. And we decided that just wasn't smart either because they've already collected pieces that are about each of those cities. We had to nail it and we had to deliver the best series um, in the history of John's career for the FCC. So I think we're all dealing with this equally in the world with a pandemic. It's forced me to be more creative in the business with Ryan. Um, you have to be creative to sell art too, not just make it. So we've come up with creative things to do because we've worked hard to build relationships for 20 years that um, really have helped us through all this, their support. And um, for me, it's forced me to slow down. So I was able to go back to some old techniques like the oil and egg temper that I learned 20 years ago in Italy that's just a lost art. And so I brought that back and that was very special. I, just the smells in the air of what that, those mediums and the oil paint smells like brought me back to being in Italy. The reason that we selected Pangea as the, as the destination for where John, the subject matter of the um, series, was for, for various reasons. Um, I actually like how uh, when you look at the words, like the etymology of the word um, pandemic and Pangea, that was a nice little link. But also, I needed to figure out a body of land that would represent all of the places that we've, that we've gone to. When you think about what I envisioned the theme to be about evolution, well, that's the whole story of the evolution of the Earth and our continents. And that started out with a supercontinent called Pangea. And now that I say that, it's like John has created a super series that contains elements and memories and uh, photographs from all prior series. For dancing, my favorite memory was being at the Tropicana all the beautiful people in all their costumes and the regalia was overwhelmingly beautiful. 
They asked people on stage to dance, so guess who the first person was? It was me. So the Tropicana is really the dancing memory that is most significant in my head. Uh, on all of our travels, we have loved going to museums. And my most um, significant memory is our trip to Bogota, where we went to the Botero Museum. That image of John looking at the Botero, that's something I won't forget. Y'all know I love a bathtub, maybe as much as champagne. But in New Zealand, the 1920s hotel we stayed, I can only imagine during the roaring 20s, the people coming into that hotel and enjoying a martini, probably back then a cigarette. We've been to a lot of very beautiful beaches, but was our time in Israel when John and I went to the Dead Sea. You put mud all over your body and you get in the water and you float because of the density of the salt. And then there's some pictures of us where we're sitting with each other and we have our arms around each other, but we're absolutely covered in mud. I grew up with a wonderful mom who taught me a lot about religion and the importance of it. You can get nothing better than the Salt Cathedral, which was a cathedral built into the ground in Bogota. Overwhelming, especially when Ryan and I turned the corner and heard Ave Maria playing. John's favorite drink is uh, champagne. In looking through the imagery from all of the years, from all of this travel, there was no problem finding pictures of John drinking champagne. I just, I really connected with a photo and memory of us being in Ireland. Um, John had bought a special bottle of champagne to sort of celebrate the completion of the series, which just is so indicative of him and his personality. Um, and so that's my favorite champagne memory. We all love animals around here. What was so special in Vietnam was going to the farm and seeing the mama pig with her pigs and the daddy pig protecting her when he felt threatened by me getting too close. The memory I'm going to have to share about food involved a road trip from Paris all the way to Florence. Well, in Paris, we were able to meet an established, older um, French couple, and they put out some food. This little small tray of bites that they put out, it was artwork. That's my memory of food I won't forget. I worked for my mom since five years old, and she showed me the beauty of flowers. The red roses on Princess Grace's grave were so symbolic of the life that she lived, the beauty that she brought to Monaco and what Monaco did for her.
worn a lot of hats <laughs> on all of these trips. Uh, we had the, the real funny hats in Vietnam when we were in the, the rice paddy. Um, uh, we, I had that crazy um, leather cap when we were at the Berlin uh, Pride Parade. Uh, at the conclusion of our volunteer experience in Trinidad and Tobago, somehow Angie, that's her name, she was inspired to give me uh, this traditional um, head covering that people wear on their wedding day. It looked like something that Lady Gaga would wear. So it was insanely sweet. It was so nice, but it was so also hilarious. The humor involved with watching John sort of tie that on me um, is something I'll never forget. If you see me walk, you know I'm gay. So we had to have a gay theme. Ryan and I are in Berlin, all ready for the parade. Nothing's happening, and you hear the thumping coming down the street on this huge boulevard. And the song they were playing was Raining Men. So Berlin Pride had to be the biggest memory I have of the gay things that we have done. Art is the only way to unify people. It's not a political thing, it's not side and side, it just pulls you together, it brings a conversation. And I think it's healing, and I think when people are able to finally get together, we can heal faster. What John is doing is bringing unity to people through artwork. And that's why I thought um, Pangea was really perfect to um, draw that link. Pangea is a unified body. Um, there are no borders. At this time in 2020, I believe um, people are the most polarized they have been in the history of the world. Now, if you look a little bit further, um, Pangea eventually broke up. Yes, it, it created separate um, uh, bodies of land, but it also allowed for different cultures. Without the breaking up of Pangea, we never could have experienced all these beautiful cultures that have really added to the um, value and education that John has received as an artist. Pangea 2020 is the most collectible. We've been through a lot in our world and we're not done yet. This is so historic. We're getting through this. We're still alive and we're thriving as much as we can. You have to have a piece from the Pangea 2020. There's no question, it's the best. Pangea 2020 is the most collectible because it's the highlight reel. It's the best of the best. It's the all-star game. This is the one you have to be a part of. It's everything together in this series. best for last. Our very special first class club or the FCC. Thank you so much for supporting us through all these trips for the last 10 years and for your dedication to us. We're dedicated to you for your inspiration for us. We want to inspire you this year to make this happen and it's happening because of all the things you've done for us. So thank you FCC first class club. You mean everything to what we're doing and we will always work very hard to make you proud. If it wasn't for the FCC and trying to make you proud, just like you try to make your parents proud, that's why there's a series this year. So thank you to the FCC. Um, you have sent us all over the world. I'll be grateful for the rest of my life. 
uh, but I will also be grateful for you helping to create this series, which will go down in history as the most historic of John's career.